Need a theme song, make a theme song. Do 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 do. Well, it's here. Another car. Well, it's here. The last day of the trip that's not going to be a travel day. I will be vlogging about the travel day, hopefully. Anyhow, I uh, switched arms so that way I won't be as intimidating to people who are driving this Friday afternoon. So it's the last day of the trip that's not a travel day. I will be vlogging our travel day. On this, the last full day of the trip, I finally got around heading towards Carsingtown. A lot of cars are out today, due to the fact that this is the only day this trip that the sun has been out at all, as far as I've noticed. But make no mistake, I think today is in fact the coldest day of the trip. That being said, it's not that cold. It wasn't really that cold at all during the trip. It only got down to maybe the mid-30s at the coldest. The nice thing about the sun being out is that I could just point this camera pretty much anywhere and get a shot of beautiful scenery. Okay, I said pretty much anywhere. Ordinarily, I would film some stuff and then do a voiceover to tell you my impressions of the town, but today I think I'm gonna let the Wikipedia article do the talking. Carsington is a village in the middle of the Derbyshire Dales, England. It adjoins the hamlet of Hopton, close to the historic town of Worksworth, the village of Brassington. Its population is 111. Carsington has a long history, including Roman occupation. An old Roman settlement lies beneath the reservoir. In prehistoric times, woolly rhinos lived in the area. The remains of one such animal were discovered nearby in the Dream Cave, adjacent to the Callow and Opton End of Summer Lane in the late 20th century. The Channel 4 archaeology series Time Team once visited Carsington to investigate the archaeology and ancient remains in the pastures, where they visited a cave discovered by the Pegasus Caving Club full of ancient human bones. Today, Carsington has one pub, the Miner's Arms, and a primary school. Also, there's a cattery, not mentioned in the Wikipedia article, strangely enough. The community is primarily composed of a strong commuter and retiree contingent to replace the traditional agricultural, mining, and quarrying community. Another key event is the annual calendar auction, where an unknowing local inhabitant has a calendar featuring 12 different images of themselves created then sold off to the highest bidder. For 2012, a local stud was chosen to the delight of many local female inhabitants. A heavy mix of alcohol and pheromones led to an unexpected bidding war which resulted in a three-figured sum for charity. The shortlist for the 2013 model is under debate. Carsington Reservoir, opened in 1992, stores water from the River Derwent and is operated by Severn Trent Water. It is open all year for recreation, with an extensive cycle path, several bird hides, a water sport, and sailing center. Inside the visitor center are a trail, several specialist shops, and a cafe slash restaurant. So that was Carsington, a uh -huh. very quaint little country town. In other news, I am probably being drowned out by the sound of this water right now. Get it? Drowned out. Bad puns aside, I'm walking back now in order that I can have about maybe an hour's rest before coming right back for a quiz night at the pub. Seo and my brother were there the other day and the bartender invited them to attend. We just got out of the quiz night here at the Miner's Arms Carsington and it was fun. It was actually a fundraiser to raise money for the local primary school. They raised over $600 and I got to try a variety of drinks for the first time at reasonable prices. Looks like everybody is coming out so we're gonna head back to the cottage and have a good night's sleep. V out.